Hey, I'm Brian Van. I'm Max Van. And we are here to break down the all new Alpine Stars Tech Air 3 airbag vest. Okay, this is a technical garment. This is going to be a longer video. So what we're going to do here, we just decided this, we're going to open up with just a very brief overview of the product. The Tech Air 3 is $599 retail as of the time we're shooting this video. We never update videos for pricing changes, only when the product itself has been completely redesigned. This is designed to be worn over a jacket. It is for street use only. There is no race algorithm with this. This is only intended for street riding. It can be worn under a jacket if that is your preference. Even though it's not designed for that purpose, right out of the gate, you can still do it. The same fitment rules would then apply with this vest as they do with the Tech Air 5. You either have to have a Tech Air ready jacket that has the proper stretch panels to allow for deployment, or you have to have about four centimeters of additional room, which is going to allow the vest to expand upon deployment. Sizing. In this video, we're gonna show my son, Max. He's wearing a medium size A-Stars jacket. This is a medium vest. You'll see what type of fit he got, and that rule of thumb is gonna work for most everyone. If he was going to wear the vest under the jacket, he would then go down one size in the vest, because remember, this is intended to be worn over the top, so its size is a little big for that reason. He would go down one size to a small. This is a single deployment device. Once it is discharged, it will then be need, it will need to be sent back to Alpine Stars or an authorized repack facility to have the canister replaced. That's assuming that there is no real damage to the vest because this is worn over the jacket. If you have a slide in the crash, it could tear this up and you may just need to replace it. Canister replacement is $99. You can do that three times. So three deployments replace only the canister. For the fourth time, you would need to replace the canister and the airbag vest, and that is going to be more in the $200 range. When you first get the vest, one of the initial things you need to do is you wanna make sure, before you go and set it up, that you have the battery charged, okay? This comes with, I apologize, I don't have it in my hand right now, but it comes with a charging cable only. There is no block supplied with this. You can use any of the standard USB power blocks to power up the cable. It is then going to plug in right here. The LED panel will flash while it's charging until you get to a full state of charge. Typically what we recommend when you first get it, give it a good overnight charge and let's get a good 100% battery life into the system before you set it up. Once you've done that, there is a QR code right here on the tag at the back. You're going to add the Tech Air, Alpine Stars Tech Air app to your phone. It can be an iPhone or an Android. Once you have the app open, scroll through, set up a new device. Very simple stuff. You're going to scan this QR code. It's going to add it. It's going to connect to it. It's super simple. It works great. We've got a screenshot we're going to show you in here. We also, later on in the video, we're going to show you where I've got it connected to my iPhone. That'll show you battery life, show you whether it's on or off, right? And it can also display if it has been deployed. During the video, there was a spot where I think Max and I, or Max, we may have misspoke a little bit. Activation for the system. This is critical because you're going to need to pay attention to this when you store it as well. An assumption was made this little snap right here, this little magnetic snap, was part of the activation system. That is not, in fact, the case. What this is doing, and I learned that as I tore it apart and put it back together, that is intended to hold the chest protection over until you get the vest zip zipped up. How it is activated is when the zip is all the way up, there's some magnets here, right, that go ahead and they turn the system on in this area. With that said, when you're storing this, you want to make sure you're storing it in such a way that basically it's hanging and this is not touching that, right? If, if those two things, the zip is all zipped up and it's touching over there, the system could then be active. The LEDs will indicate that, of course, right? And that would discharge your battery. 
This system offers about 40 hours of battery life from a full charge, which is quite a bit. During periods where you're not using it, you're going to lose approximately 1% of battery life for every day that it's not used. Remember, when you use your phone, the app will show you the percentage of battery life. As we break down later on in this video, when you zip up and activate the system, the LED panel is going to flash as it goes through boot up. And it's going to let you know approximately the percentage of battery charge that you have left. For more details on that and other things, stay tuned as we go through the rest of the video. Okay, this is now the fourth airbag system from our friends at Alpine Stars. It all started back, I think, about four seasons ago with the Tech Air Race. How's that worked out for you, buddy? I mean, I probably have around 15 or so deployments on it, and I have not broken a bone in my body yet, so we're okay. Over the entire four years, and I got to tell you, we believe we are so personally invested in this technology, right, that I won't even let him go out on track if he does not have an airbag vest. We have a backup vest. We have a Tech Air 10 that he's ridden in. The bottom line is this stuff works, full stop. You agree with that statement? Of course I do. <laughs> After 15 deployments, right? Okay, so now the Tech Air 3, I believe for street riders, and this is a street only product. This is not intended to be used on the racetrack in any way, shape or form. It only has a street algorithm in it. This is the one that I think is going to be most widely embraced by street riders, right? Any discipline, sport riding, sport touring, or even cruisers. The bottom line is you get people out there today on the road. How many people do you see that drive like this? Right in their phone. I love it. Like they're in the fast lane. They're going five under the speed limit. You go by them on the right side, you look left, what do you see? This. Totally distracted. There's a lot of hazards out there. This level of protection can be a complete game changer in terms of risk to injury in the event of a crash. I recommend to anyone that's riding to take advantage of the products that are available today to help protect yourself. And just like with a, a proper helmet, I think the airbag system now is the next helmet. You should literally have both anytime you throw a leg over and you go out and twist the throttle. Retail on this product is $599. It's super affordable. There's a lot of similarities between this and the other system. We're going to, as we go through this video, we'll talk about more specifics. Let's get right down to the brass tacks, okay? This is designed to be worn as an Overgarment. We got Max here. Max is wearing a size medium textile jacket. We got a medium on in the vest. It looks good. G give him a 360. You know, let's be realistic. I mean, every, you look good, you feel good. So that is intentional, that this looks good over the jacket. That kind of removes one of the possible objections. Oh, I'm not going to wear that because it doesn't look cool. Like arguably the, the Tech Air 5, which is meant to be worn under, looks less cool than this. This one right now is available in this color that you see here, and it's also available in a high-vis yellow color, so if you want to have more visibility to go along with it, you can do that too. So what he's saying is the chicks are going to dig it no matter what, so you're all set. If that's important to you, yes. Okay. Now, it is designed to be worn over. In this example, he's wearing a medium jacket, he's wearing a medium vest, and the fit is? Perfect. I mean, it's not too tight. Uh... Not too hot by all means, and you know, with the textile jacket, I think it's a perfect combination. One of the concerns that I did have is the control box, and we're going to show you this when I take this thing apart after we deploy it. It's right here, and you know, it, it, it's a little control unit, and there are some plastic pieces there, the inflator cartridges there, and I was wondering, are you going to notice that? And No, like, you know, I got, I got down into the tuck position and everything, and I didn't feel it at all. The only time you feel it is actually when you touch it, and that's about it. Oh, you so. went out and sat on a bike, too? Yeah. That's smart. I like that. That's good. So, it's comfortable, it's lightweight, it's easy to use, right? Let's talk about protection. The protection it offers is going to be here, and you're going to see all this when we deploy it, here in the chest area, over the shoulders, and then full back. The, the chest is going to stop right around, I think, this area here, okay? And then over the shoulders, but the back is 
completely cover. This airbag is a little bit different than the others. This is kind of more like, think of it as like fingers, right? So it's going to be like these pillars of air. They did that for a reason. They wanted to try and preserve some of the airflow to keep the rider cool when you're out riding, okay? So having it segmented like that is going to allow for more airflow both in and out to keep the rider cool as well as being protected. This vest also has a provision to add a back protector pad if you want to do that, right? That is sold separate. I'll show you later on how to slide that in. You know, realistically, you know, and it's funny because most jackets are sold without any type of back protection pad. This product kind of allows you to get away without riding around with that back protector pad in there. And ultimately, that does make the, the jacket more comfortable. If you want additional protection, you can add the pad. I feel most riders are probably going to go without it. Now, uh, let's talk about kind of like the boot up sequence, charging, battery life, stuff like this. Alpine Stars has developed this Tech Air app. Hopefully, we can zoom in here a little bit and show you this. This is just on my old man iPhone, okay? And you scan a little QR code that I'll show you later. It connects your system. And what is this going to do for you? It clearly displays, displays the battery life, right? Let you know that you're connected. If you need to do software updates, this allows you to facilitate this. This is cool. We use it with the Tech Air 10. We've used it with the Tech Air 5. The app works, right? Boot up. You can see right here, they've got a little LED panel. You want to go ahead and zip down, Max, and just let's run them through it real quick. Give it a second. It's going to power down. Wait for the LED to go off. So now we're going to go ahead and get it paired back up. So you have this little buckle right here. you got to snap, apply a little bit of pressure. And then you have this real nice, easy-to-use zipper down here, nice and magnetic. Slides right up. It's also magnetic down here to cover up the bottom of the zipper. Okay, now you see our boot up sequence. So what happens is initially you're going to get one blue light solid and then from there there's going to be three options. It can be green flashes which are going to indicate that you have the majority of your battery life, right? If you want to read the specifics, jump into the little owner's manual, right? You're basically at nearly a full charge state. If it flashes the yellow color, right, you're kind of in the middle. If it flashes red, you are at a low charge state, right? You can always double check the exact percentage by using the app on your phone. If you're, if you're like, if you got a red and you're like, oh, I want to go for a quick ride, you know what? Maybe you've got three or four hours left. It's probably plenty, yeah. right? You're going for half an hour or whatever. But it's nice that you don't have to go to the app every time to see where the battery's at. It, it lets you know the status of charge at that point. As it goes through the boot up, if you end up with a solid blue, that means you are good to go. You are also going to get a little vibration right here. There's a little vibration yeah. situation here in the chest that when there's a status change, it's going to vibrate to make you aware that something has changed and then you can refer to the LEDs to see what state you're in. So that's pretty simple and basic. Uh, we've got a storage pocket here on the outside. All lightweight mesh. We've got some reflective panels over the shoulders here if you want to spin sideways. That is full on stretch to keep it comfortable. Got expansion panels back here, right? That's gonna allow for the deployment of the vest. Super nice, clean look. You'll notice the collar is really open on this. That's to you know maintain a level of comfort for the rider. So very simple, easy to use. To reiterate, it is designed primarily to be used outside over a jacket, okay? If you choose to wear it underneath, you're gonna need to change the size that you order. As an example with Max, if Max, who wears a medium jacket, wants to wear this under the jacket, he would need to go with a size small. So one size down in the vest and then put the jacket over the top. As we said in our Tech Air 5 video, if you're wearing a non-Tech Air compatible jacket that doesn't have the stretch panels built in to manage airbag deployment, you'll need to make sure that there is four centimeters of additional space built into the jacket to allow for airbag deployment. 
when the airbags deploy, and if you look at our Tech Air 5 video, you'll see what tends to happen with the jacket is the whole jacket kind of lifts up a little bit, right? It kind of pushes out, but it also lifts the jacket up. Another advantage with the Tech Air 3, because it rides outside of the jacket, there is no lift up. The vest just deploys and all your protection is ready to go. When we come back, we're going to see if Max jumps when the airbag pops. In three, two, one. I love the look he ma makes every time that goes off. It's pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. It's like Mike Tyson just, you know, hit you with a lever shot or something. It's kind of unexpected. <laughs> so now you can see clearly the amount of protection, right, that this offers. It is extremely substantial, okay? The back is all the way right down to here, all up in here. It's crossing over. This tube actually crosses over the shoulder complete. You come over to the one on the other side. This tube, right, there is a break right here, okay? So the tube kind of ends up here. So it's fed, you know, kind of through the back and then over into the front. You can actually hear the little valve is allowing some of the air to come out. If you compare this to our Tech Air 5 video where the jacket is over the airbag system, you know, it did lift the jacket a little bit, right? It, it has to because the volume, you know, has to be taken up somehow. Having this for the street, having this system over the top, I think makes a tremendous amount of sense. And after you see it deployed like this, you know, that really cements that fact. So looking at, you know, some of the questions that I think people are going to ask, one of them is going to be, well, what if the vest is damaged in the crash, right? Can I get it repacked? It's gonna depend on the level of damage to the, to the fabric, right? It, this fabric is robust, right? But this isn't leather, this is textile. So if you have a crash where there's enough sliding where it damages and the panels are just beyond repair, you know, you have to then replace the entire thing. I would personally look at that like, well, if I didn't get injured, I'm happy to just simply buy another vest, you know, and at $5.99, the price is reasonable. And hopefully when you're riding on the street, you know, it's different than the racetrack. You're not going to be out there having 15 deployments over a span of four years. If you've crashed 15 times on the street over a span of four years, I would recommend you get a new hobby, like maybe... Playing soccer or baseball. Badminton. Badminton something like or that. something like that. Pickleball. But yes. You need to stop riding motorcycles. So... You know, I wouldn't focus too much on, well, what if the, the vest itself is damaged? All that matters is that if you're okay and you walk away from it. If it's able to be repaired and repacked, the repacking on this is, is very affordable. We're going to touch on that in other segments of this video. But right now, we just want to give you just a really good look at its coverage area when it's deployed. Okay, now is the part where we get to take the vest apart, give you a look from the inside out, right? Gotta love new toys, new technology. Reasons you would want to take it apart. You know, if the thing gets overly dirty, you want to take it apart and you want to wash the vest, you would need to remove the airbag and the electronics from it in order to get that done, right? You certainly wouldn't want to wash it with all the electronics in it. Even though it is water resistant, right? Waterproof, you can ride in this in the rain, it's going to be A-OK. -okay. I wouldn't go swimming with it but I think it's gonna work just fine in the rain. Everything is sealed and waterproof. Still, you would not wanna wash it with everything inside. So to remove the airbag from the vest, you've got this pocket right here. There is a zip on top. There is a Velcro patch here. There is another zipper over here. Go ahead and slide that flap over. Here is the control unit right here. We have two straps with Velcro that are securing this into the pocket on the left side at the base of the vest itself. Go ahead and undo those. We have two connectors here that we need to release. This one you push in on the little tang right here, slide it out. 
The second connector, you need to release the lock. See, I've got a little flat bladed screwdriver. Lift up, and then from there, you'll be able to basically pull up on that connector and remove it. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and slide out the control unit itself. There's a little snap here you need to undo that's securing the wiring harness here. As we move up into the rest of the vest, you're going to find color-coded snaps. That one is obviously yellow. The one up here is red, and you can see here's red on a vest, red on the airbag. Undo that. Right up here at the base of the neck. Go ahead and undo that. Another red one, another yellow one. We need to remove the chest protection portion of it now. Release the Velcro, both front and back. Pull out on it a little bit. There's another snap, once again, that is color coded. What you'll need to do here to get this to pass through the channel, just kind of roll this up a little bit. There is still, you know, because we did deploy this previously, right? There is still just a tiny little bit of air in the vest, so it may look just a little bit different than yours once you've unboxed it. Yours will be a little bit flatter if it's brand new and has not been deployed. Roll that up, pull that through the channel that spans from the back to the chest. And then we need to get access to the LED panel. Just like if you were going to charge it, Open that flap, go ahead and re release the retainer for the LED panel. Then we're going to come inside the vest itself. Here is another uh, retainer for the airbag. This is the one that spans over the left collarbone area. Go ahead and remove that. So now here is the airbag itself cover that a little bit more in a second. There are still some electronics that are left in this. Got your sensor here. Open the Velcro pocket and notice they sh they make it very clear this needs to be sitting in there correctly. You can see how it's screen printed on the fabric. And now we need to get the harness that goes down to the control unit. I'm going to slide that up through the channel and then through the secondary channel here. And then we have the harness that comes up to the uh, LED panel. You can see where the channel is split right here. That is going to be where the connector itself is located. Press the release tab, then you're able to slide the harness down. Okay. You can see all that stuff's weather pack. And then we can come in here. Slide out your LED. You see there's like a little magnet on the back of that the activator right there. Now you're left with just the vest. If you want to put a back protector pad in this, how would you do that? You would go in this pocket right here in the back, zip that open, the Alpine Stars back protector insert can then be slid inside of this pocket, the Velcro tab down here. That'll be housed right in that area if you want to add that. I think most people are probably going to go without it. That's really the whole point of the, you know, the airbag vest itself is to protect you in the event of an accident. Also keeps everything a little bit lighter, but if you prefer to have additional protection, feel free to add that in there. Showed you earlier, there's a little storage pocket here. Feels like that's a waterproof pocket. That's a waterproof zip. 
as previously stated, the whole thing can be worn in the rain, right? If you get, get caught in some inclement weather, it's no problem. Here is the vest itself. See the stretch fabric on the sides. And then we've got kind of the expansion panels here in the back. The cool Tech Air 3 logo is screen printed inside there. Looking at your control unit, see how it's kind of contoured for the part of your body where that rides, you know, it's contoured right there. And it also ultimately ends up being covered up by airbag if in fact there is a deployment. Like I mentioned earlier in the video too, the style of this airbag, it's done more in like these fingers, right? You can see they're all independent of one another. The reason they did that was to help preserve and promote airflow when you're riding, right? You add this additional layer, it's going to add a little bit of heat for sure. It's going to be a little bit warmer than not using it. But to mitigate that as much as possible, you know, they have these sections between the fingers that are going to encourage air to flow both in and out to keep you cool and keep you comfortable. The cartridge for this vest is located right in here for the first three repacks. And I say that, you know, with a street device, I look at this a lot different than I do a, a race device. You know, you go racing, you pretty much expect at some point you're going to fall. It, discharges are possible. It just happens, right? That's why you're wearing it. For street crashes, you know, you really don't want to be doing a lot of crashing on the street. Nevertheless, you can replace this canister in here three times before you would have to replace the airbag itself. When you send this out, there are full system checks that are done to make sure the integrity of the system is such that when they re replace the canister, you can count on it to deploy again in another accident, right? So it's really important and kind of like a, your bike or your car, there is also that self-diagnostic. Every time it boots up, it runs through that diagnostic and when you're done, you get that indicator on the LED that you're good to go or you have an issue. So at all times, this is running that test. And if there's a problem, you'll see a fault and it'll be in the form of a red LED light and you'll know you're in a situation where you probably need to send it in for repair. I feel like we've covered this pretty well. You know, there's a lot of information here. It's a long video, any of the airbag stuff. This is a lot different than just a jacket. You know, a jacket's kind of a jacket. This is a much more technical garment. I think Alpine Stars has really come up with something that's going to be good here. I like the price point quite a bit. I really liked how it looked. Like when Max had that on today, over the jacket, it looked good. It looked like it belonged. And you, you have all the protection, right? It's less clunky. The, I think the Tech Air 5 is a great piece. And you could argue that there's a little more protection with it. It does fire just a tiny little bit faster. I think the Tech Air 5 takes like a, a 1 40th of a, a, a second, right, to fire. This one takes like 1 20th. So there is a, a tiny little speed difference that favors the, the Tech Air 5, which is nice. You have a little more coverage in the shoulder area with the Tech Air 5, which is nice. But the Tech Air 5 is more bulky. When you wear that on the street, it has to be underneath your jacket. It takes more effort to get that on and get the jacket over and get it all off, right? For the rider that is looking for convenience and looking for a very high level of protection, this makes a tremendous amount of sense. And in the end, it's using a lot of the same electronics and same principles that we've seen with the other systems. Thus far, our primary experience here, personally, has been with the Tech Air Race. As I said earlier in the video with Max, that thing has, has just been without flaw. It's worked fantastic. Wouldn't let him ride without it. I don't go out without mine. And I think for a lot of street riders, this will end up being the same with the Tech Air 3. If you have any questions, you leave those in the comments section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself, and I'm always here to make sure you choose the right gear for your next ride.